The PT878 is an ultrasonic flame meter which is designed to provide flame measurements in a pipe without the need to cut into it. This effectively means that an accurate measurement can be taken quickly and conveniently without the need to disrupt the process. The first step in any flame meter installation is to configure the meter for the application. In this case we are going to measure the flow of cold water through a PVC pipe. To configure the meter we turn it on using the red on button. This meter is already turned on as it takes a while to boot up. Right, and press the transducer button to take us through to the programming menu. And scroll down to the transducer option and press enter to open the drop down box. We select 402 from this list, press enter. And scroll down to the wedge temperature, which is the ambient temperature, in this case about 20 degrees. And then scroll over to the pipe menu, press enter, and to the pipe material. Select PVC from the drop down menu. And then scroll to the outside diameter and enter 160 mm. Then enter the wall thickness, which is 6.2 mil in this case, and then scroll over to the lining menu, in this case none. Fluid menu, we select water from the drop down list, and then enter the temperature, which in this case is about 18 degrees. We then scroll over to the path menu and we want to enter two traverses. The meter will then calculate the spacing. We press OK. The meter now comes up with a warning saying that the transducer spacing has changed and the new spacing will be 137.4 mil. And just press OK to that. And it will now take us back to the main screen. Right, so the flow meter has calculated a spacing of 137.4 mil for a two traverse installation. The two traverse installation means that the signal is going to come from the first transducer, hit the back wall of the pipe and then come through to the second transducer. I've also checked that the spacing is 137.4 mil and I've measured this from the left side of the left clamp to the left side of the right clamp. So we're now going to take the transducers, put a small amount of couplant onto it and then we're going to screw it into the clamping fixture. And you'll see I've already screwed the second transducer in. The next step is to connect up the cables. So we put the red BNC onto the upstream transducer and the blue BNC onto the downstream transducer. We then connect the Limo ends into the PT. And that's the installation complete. Right, so if we look at the flow meter now, you'll see the volume of water coming through the pipe being displayed. 